In this episode, we are picking up our motorhome rental in Japan and hitting the road. It is so short. <laughs> if we can make it through Tokyo traffic in the rain and driving through a campground in the dark. I think I may have made a wrong turn because it's now telling me to make a U-turn. We're Heath and Alyssa. Our favorite way to visit new countries with our kids is to hop in a motorhome and get off the beaten path. In this series, we're spending two weeks road tripping around Japan. Today is the day that we've been waiting for for months. For three years. For years. We are going to pick up our van in Japan, specifically in Tokyo, where I'm a little bit nervous about driving it, but that's a whole other story. But today we're going to pick up our van that we'll be driving across Japan for the next two weeks. We're not calling this one an RV because it is smaller than an American minivan. <laughs> There's many more details that I'm a little bit nervous about, Mama. but mostly excited. Mama. And we're running late, so Mama. let's go. Thank you. Oh no, 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 Day's off to a great start. We <laughs> didn't get it. <laughs> These are awesome. Konnichiwa. It is so short. <laughs> Very eventful. Had a little bit of trouble finding it, but we're here and the vans are amazing. <laughs> Look at the sign on the step right here. Shoes prohibited. Wow. Kanazawa. My watashi no kokyo That's his hometown. Oh. That's where he's from. This translation device is amazing. <laughs> we're renting from El Monte RV here in Japan. If that sounds familiar, there is an El Monte RV with the same logo in the States. And so we reached out to them on Instagram. And we're like, oh, is this you guys? Like, you know, we see El Montes anytime we go to a national park in the summer, right? And they were like, uh, but I think they're like connected to the American El Monte. <laughs> We have our camping chairs in here. There's actually a lot of room back here. Oh, these are the yeah. beds. This yeah, is the bed. Like the bunk bed. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Oh, there's like a Mr. Slim up here. What? <laughs> Where do you want Ellie? Can she fit? If she can fit right here, put her right here, right? If they can fit next to each other, that's fine. The other way. Other oh, way. This way? This way? The car seats. You can't fit two right next to each other on the dinette because it's really narrow. So we're trying to get them opposite of each other. But they had to pull the, the table out for them to fit the car seat. So we'll see how it works. This has actually kind of become a tradition. When we yeah. picked up our RV in Paris, Tom and I spent probably 30 minutes trying to configure the car seats around the dinette, but we'll figure it out. There's plenty of space. And also it's ready to be done with car seats. For sure. When are kids done with car seats now, like age 10? I don't know what Heath said, but he used Google Translate and said something in Japanese and everybody laughed. Just cracking jokes in another language over here. It's been five years since I drove on the opposite side of the road, all the way back to our trip in New Zealand. It's gonna take some getting used to. Earlier, I was trying to mentally prepare for turning left, staying in left-hand lane. Got this. No shoes. No shoes, very good. But you need to go potty. Okay. There's no bathroom in this RV. Biggest concern while we're camping for the next two weeks. Alyssa and Ellie ran to the bathroom, so Eli and I will give you a quick tour of the inside of what's gonna be our home the next two weeks. We'll do a more thorough tour when we get to the campsite tonight but just want to show you around a little bit. Dinette area, probably gonna reconfigure the car seats in a little while, just to make sure that the kids are in here as safely as possible. We have an over the head area, which I extended so we could put our stroller up here, which we decided to bring. There we have our kitchen. I think we may have a electric stove top. I have no idea. Uh, little sink head. This is an emergency toilet. And, okay. Um, we're gonna figure out where this goes real quick. So many there's so many cup holders. There's yeah. one, two, three, four. There's, There's four cup, cup holders. Oh, and then this is gonna be the best trip ever. <laughs> Ellie is like every woman ever shopping for a car. <laughs> one thing that's really nice, I will say about this pickup is that we're in the back of this giant parking lot. There's no one else back here right now. So it's just not stressful. Yes, baby. Yeah. Can you get in your car seat? Sure, go for it. Not stressful as in the kids are running around back here and there's no one driving. 
exactly. What do you think of this RV? I love it. You love it? It's starting to rain. That is the bags for the toilet. So there's an emergency toilet on board where you go in a bag and then you have to dispose of the bag. But as we've learned so far, there's not trash cans or garbage areas everywhere. So Mommy, I have the we'll see. Inverter switch, okay. Look at these labels. That's so cute. We can dump used water at campground. Oh. At the end, if you bring it as it is, we will dispose of it. Mm. Hi. I think this is a grocery store right here. I was going to ask you to ask I'll him. ask. I'll go ask him. My slip-on shoes before he came to Japan was a really good idea. Yeah, good purchase. <laughs> Mama, run with me. Run with you? Yeah. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. It does make it so much easier that we can pick up the RV and just walk over here and get some groceries. We just did the walkthrough of the van. Uh, the guys who are helping us from El Monte are amazing. They're so nice, very patient. There's no one else here, which also helps uh, because we tend to move a bit slower as a family. But they've been great and we're gonna get some groceries and load up. First Japanese grocery store, already Ellie's favorite cart ever. You can stand on the rainbow. <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh, got a nice turn on it. Smells like roasted corn on the cob in here. <laughs> We got way too much food and we're gonna have to walk back with the kids, so we'll see how this goes. So it looks like they put all of your food in like a basket and then you go over here and you, you go over here and you bag it yourself. I'm gonna follow everyone else's lead. Key learning from our first Japanese grocery store, the bags that you self bag at the end of the process are kind of like the equivalent of the bags that you use for packing up your vegetables or something like that in the in the section. So they can't really support like a carton of milk or something like that. Uh, nonetheless, carrying all of it back to the RV. So I'm gonna run over to the RV or the van and come back and we'll just load it up in the parking lot. The other thing we were told about Japan before coming over was even if no cars are coming, which there aren't right now, you wait for the crosswalk. So that's what I'm doing. And go. This thing fits in a very small parking spot. <laughs> Y'all eating some food? Konnichiwa. Age? Ichi son? Bye bye. Yes, baby. I eat this a banana and some chicken. We ate some food. Eli is a celebrity in this store. There's a grandma outside just ooing and awing over him. A grandpa walked up earlier, was just like walking to come into the store, and Eli just started waving at him. He was like, oh. he came over and said hi. There was someone over here in a van just like waving him back. What's interesting is that this grocery store is like not in a crazy busy part of town, but there's three what look like full-time parking attendants here. Yes. There weren't kernels, but a Paget staple in every RV that we have. Popcorn. And we don't know what the drinking water is gonna be like at RV park, so we bought a couple large bottles. About to do the final walkthrough of the RV. We have groceries, we've eaten some lunch. I feel like we've been here a while, so I'm ready to hit the road. Can't believe I'm just about to casually take off on Japanese roads. He's so sweet. He is so sweet. <laughs> Bye. I'm already in my mind like having to... I was already I was like, like, why, why is, that, is ca that car why on is that the car? side of the road? We're just in the parking lot. We haven't even left the... Uh, but we're on the road. We did it. Uh, wide turn. That was stressful. Okay. I feel like this mirror over here is really close to everything. Like that... Like if, hitting it? If I hit something, that is going to be the first thing to go. Maybe we lost the mirror in France. 
That's true. I did. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Verdict's out on whose fault that was. Mm. Right oh. here. That is, seems like a bad idea. I mean, can I even go? Don't now? take that road. Keep going straight. Don't take that alley. I can take that. No, that is an alleyway. It says three hours longer right here. Does it really? Yes. Yeah. So that's did. a two minute difference. No, I mean, it said two hours. That was a two minute difference. We're currently in downtown Tokyo. We just got off the highway. I don't know why. I don't think anyone's going to let After me After this bus. After this bus. And we are in downtown. Were you supposed to exit like it told you to exit? I, yes, pretty sure. This is going to be one of Google's things where it's like that was one minute faster. You have about an inch and a half space. It says staying right in 40 miles. Yeah, I don't think you were supposed to exit. I think it still thinks you're up on the toll road. Up there. No, it, I'm positive I was supposed to exit. Where does your lane go? I know. Into a bus. And this is a lawless lane. I think I may have made a wrong turn because it's now telling me to make a U-turn. I said, are you sure you're supposed to exit? I, it said, said I was supposed to. It makes sense that it wouldn't route me through downtown, like not on the highway. Yeah. So that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> the logic that you use. <laughs> like, man, this is a weird route. I'm like in the city. Okay, so I obviously can't take that U-turn. That's the road we're supposed to be on right there. The good, so the good news is, that. the good news is that it seems like we're at least going the right direction because we're following the highway. That's not about the same worm. We'll know that we're lost. So it wants me to make a U-turn. Should I make this U? I mean, U-turn and point. No, you should not make any U-turns. Do you think you go up? I don't know. Honestly, no. It doesn't want me to go up. I don't know what it wants me to do. We made it out of the little downtown area. We're back on the highway. We've got an hour, 20 minutes left. So hopefully we can make it to the campground um, before dark, but we probably won't. It's like a 30 minute delay. Yeah. That just happened. My bad. I really did not think there was any way that we were going to get to see the sun again today. <laughs> I felt like it was already nighttime leaving Tokyo because it was so rainy and dreary. Mm. Makes me happy. I <laughs> smile. We've been driving through pouring down rain the last two and a half hours and I didn't think we'd see anything else tonight, but the sun has started coming out and just as we came out of that last tunnel, it's still shrouded in clouds, but I'm pretty sure we're seeing the initial glimpses of Mount Fujisan, which is the largest mountain in China, and it's where we're gonna be going tomorrow. But it, the top is shrouded in clouds, and it just, it looks huge and massive, and it makes me so excited. I hope we get to see it tomorrow. I'm just glad that we're in China. <laughs> <laughs> we're in China? I said that? Yeah, you said that was the <laughs> largest mountain in China. I said that? It's been a long day. Oh, crap. Mama, I see mine. Good job. Oh, yeah. Push it to the right. We made it, and they're open. That's a win. 7.30, we finally made it to a campground. <laughs> Tomorrow we're exploring Mount Fuji. These are the views that we woke up with this morning. It is incredible. Honestly, at this pace, we may never leave this campground. 